Hey, what's up, Reefing fam? March here. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fragbox TV. I'm going to do a vlog style sort of update. There's a lot of going on in the store. So, first of all, sorry for not doing, I guess it's been what, four days now, five days now since we've uploaded a video. Um, we even got a couple of emails. That was kind of nice. People saying, hey, is everything okay? What's up? I haven't seen uh, your video of the day. Uh, just busy here in the shop getting over kind of this mess that happened with our our uh, display tank. We'll talk about that in a second. Tia took a nice camping trip. So hi Tia. Tia's back from her trip. All refreshed and ready to jump back into the coral world. But store is doing good. Uh, let's give, you know what, speaking about Tia, let's look at her Evo. What's up with the Evo? Let's look at her. Yeah, let's look at Tia. What's up Tia? Uh, Evo looking really good. We had actually a little issue with um, some Blastos, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blasto Moose says, okay, check out this urchin here. This is probably the cutest pin cushion urchin you are ever going to see. It's like the size of a nickel. It's really, really nice. Perfect for a small tank like this. But these Blastos, anyways, we're doing really well. Still doing really well. Some of the ones that we added, not doing so hot. Even some Blastos we had over here in our, I think we took them out now, but in our coral beds, the, um, two certain types, like color varieties of Blastos, basically over the course of a day or two, just completely, what's up Dylan? Dylan's just packing some orders, but just completely peeled and dropped their flesh. Kind of a weird issue. We're not 100% sure um, why that happens. Sometimes that happens with corals. It's kind of tricky, you know, we're keeping like, there's a lot of coral in here. There's, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred different species of coral. And this is all connected into one system in the basement. And we're trying to keep corals that are found. You want to pass by? You can walk, you can walk by. It's okay. Uh, um, corals that are found in every single different ocean with different elements, with different levels, all inside, you know, a fraction of the actual volume of, of the ocean. So sometimes, uh, you know, stuff is doing well and everything's looking good. And there's that one species that just, for whatever reason, doesn't doesn't want to be too happy. I'm going to do another video shortly after this one, kind of walking through the coral beds and doing one of those like what's in the bed videos because there's a lot of new, new stuff. But I just want to highlight some clams because we don't get clams in too often. And we managed to score three really cool ones. Let me see if I can. The T5 is kind of annoying to shoot through. But hello, Mr. Maximus. These ones are actually up on the site right now. And free shipping. So what does that mean, actually? Free shipping. We have on our site, there's one category, if you check it out, it's called the free shipping category. It's got a bunch of different corals on there. And so if you order one piece, like uh, like the clam here, and it qualifies for free shipping, your entire order is actually going to ship for free. So you can add as many other corals, fish, cleanup crew, hardware, anything on the shelves here, anything on the site will ship absolutely for free. So usually shipping is about 40 bucks. Um, Canadian, that's for Overnight Express. As you know, unfortunately, we can only ship orders here in Canada, with the exception of some of like the uh, the dry goods and hardware that we sell, but we can't ship corals to the United States. That's a question we get um, every day, probably 10 times a day. The other coral I just got to quickly show you is Ganipora. So actually, right after I'm done shooting this video, I know a lot of people have been asking us to do a care video on Ganipora or flower pot. So I finally have enough here in the store. How's it going, man? I finally have enough here in the store. I was just waiting to have like a good variety of different types and alves. I'm going to talk about that in the video. Tia's, Tia's chirping me from, from behind the counter. These are all alves? Some are Ghanis, right? Right after I'm done shooting this video, I'm going to get into those ones. I was just waiting to have like a decent number of uh, kind of varieties and colors so that we can show them off and, and talk about them a little bit more in depth. Now, I know a lot of our viewers are in the United States, so this may not seem like a groundbreaking idea, but we've actually given some room on our shelving here in the store to bulk reef supply. So I don't think there's any other stores up here in Canada that are actually stocking it. It's kind of a new thing for us. Um, I know that a lot of people use it. So if you're in Canada and you're looking for BRS stuff, but you're not looking to pay the shipping or the taxes or wait to get it, we actually have some of the most popular products here in the store. And then if there's something specific that you use all the time, let us know, we'll get it in. We'll, we'll put it here on the shelves for you. So that's something that's always changing here in the store. You'll notice if you walk in, um, we need projects, or at least I do because of that uh, self-diagnosed ADHD. I'm constantly changing something. If you don't come in here for two to three weeks, I guarantee when you come back, something is going to be different. So this week, the focus has kind of been the shelves, moving stuff around, 
Um, trying to just squeeze out every last inch. If you've been in the store, I know a lot of you have not ever been here. You're watching from different parts of the world. The store is quite small. It's not a big store, so we have to really, every square inch now really, really matters. You know, stuff that uh, I didn't really think about when we first um, got the store, but we're really close to being absolutely full and maybe even thinking about doing something bigger. We have this empty spot. So whenever I see something like this happen, you know, that looks like uh, around 24 inches. Yeah, invert system finally done. That project's done. So I need another one in order to keep myself out of trouble. So I'm thinking, nice little tank over here. Probably the innovative, sorry, blah, blah, blah. innovative marine lagoon 25, or maybe a water box because it's just the amount of people that have switched over or that have bought water box aquariums. I would love to stock water box here in the store. Again, the problem is it is quite small and we do need to make kind of a big order and we just don't have anywhere physically to put those aquariums but i was thinking about getting at least one in try it out i really really like trying um, new companies new products and set that up you know it's just begging begging for an aquarium right there so that that might be the plan that we got to decide on on lighting plumbing um, stuff like that 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 will be kind of like a new fun sort of side nano project I have the feeling though Tia is going to take it over. We've already started talking about mangroves and what was the fish you wanted to put? What are the fish that live inside the sand? Garden eels. Garden eels. Yeah, that would be kind of cool to do some garden eels. Mangroves coming up the middle. Um, a little bit more white light. Less coral, less flashy, neon, vibrant colored corals and something a little bit more like Pulsing Xenia and Thalia's leathers, almost a little more biotopy, more natural looking than the, um, than let's say, not to, not to rag on your tank Dylan, but different than this. This is a beautiful tank. The Fusion 20 is rocking. Arguably, not arguably, this is the nicest tank right now um, in the store. Dylan's Fusion 20 is just on fire and the corals look great. But I think we're gonna take a different approach, maybe a different direction on this tank. Oh, talking about updates, I'm gonna show you two new things on our website and i know they don't seem that revolutionary but they kind of are for us two small changes so in the spirit of doing a vlog update let me show you what we made happen on our website here so the first change when you check out on our site you now have the option to put in this is kind of cool your aquarium size and your years of experience and why we ask for that you don't have to answer it on the site when you're buying something um, it's really up to you but it's like if you're ordering some inverts and you have like this gentleman here joey a 700 gallon tank and let's say you ordered an urchin i'm going to send you a much larger urchin than if you filled out in that form you have a uh you know like a 10 gallon nano he's been in the hobby for you know this many years um, it's just good to help us kind of more cater to you um to the customers and provide you with a better service you know if you ordered you know something that's enormous and large and you have a nano tank then i can give you a phone call and say hey that's probably not the best fit for your aquarium and finally long long overdue we finally have a notify when back in stock option on the site so if there's something you see that's out of stock just hit that throw your email in there and then we can see on our end um, what you're looking for maybe we have more in the store that's just not on the site uh, currently so that's uh, kind of like a cool new fun feature I know not you know seriously game changing but long overdue at least for our website what else can I show you that's new vlog update vlog update let's check out Matt's tank over here it's looking really good man uh, he showed me a photo sorry a video the other day of the tank that he has at home similar in size to this it's just incredible I got to get over there and actually um, record it for you guys so in here new additions we have to cite are these purple necklace Fromias, which are very, really cool, really, really beautiful starfish, relatively easy to keep, and ninja, they call these ninja turbos, no, ninja snail, ninja snails, so they're kind of like astrias, I don't think they can flip themselves, they kind of have these very cool shells, but then unfortunately, they are unable to flip themselves over, just kind of cool, different than sort of your standard trochus, astria, or turbo snail, something nice to look at. Um, something else we're trying to do different in the store. I don't have a lot of clowns or fish to show you right now. We're just kind of in between shipments. Actually, I have almost no clownfish to show you, but we're hoping to start doing um, the same way we do with corals is what you see is what you get, pairs of clownfish. It's not really gonna be practical on things like this, like the dotty backs and some of the other captive bred fish that we sell. But on the nicer pair of clowns, um, we'd like to offer on the site, you know, maybe even a short video, but at least a photo so that you know exactly what you're getting. I know it's tricky sometimes to buy corals 
online or buy livestock online. These are things you want to see in person. But for a lot of people, at least up here in Canada, I'm not sure how it is where you live, clo uh, stores are just not close by and it makes more sense sometimes to order from a store like us, um, have it show up right at your door without having to move. It's, it can be quite convenient, you know, instead of driving three hours one way, sometimes just to get to your local fish store. Maybe that's the question of the day. How far is your local fish store from your house? Look at this Clarkie. Actually, you know what? Are we taking these Clarkies out? I think that was the verdict, right? Yep. Are these Clarkies? Yep. Shows how much I know about fish, but these Clarkies are really mean. Like they're beautiful fish, but they kind of bully everything. So they're bullying um, the cleaner wrasse that's in here. This guy I think is gonna jump ultimately if we don't take him out or, or them. They bully the chromis, they're just mean. They're really, really mean fish. They're the boss of this tank and they kind of put everybody in line. I think we're gonna yank them and they're, they're getting quite big and they're hosting the, the torch corals. They're nice to look at. What's up, buddy? You're mean. You're mean looking nice fish. But anyways, what you see is what you get, clowns. Oh, over here in this whole tank, let me show you what's going on. We just added these numbers. So we're trying to increase our order accuracy. So when you're buying online, we wanna make sure that you're getting exactly the coral you see in the photo, not something close, the exact, exact one. So we're implementing this new number system. We've been trying it out for a couple weeks now. It seems to be going really well. It makes it really easy so that if you're buying, you know, Recordia number six, very easy. Number six, you're going to get that. You can see the number in the photo and then our staff here that's packing the order. Really, really easy for them to go ahead and find the coral. So ultimately, I'm going to run those numbers um, throughout this whole tank. They're 3D printed. I can share the link if you're interested in getting some of them made. You know, they also do other price plugs and stuff like that. But I think once we fill up this tank, ultimately, this is a small kind of our small photography tank. We're outgrowing it very, very quickly. I'm going to yank this out. Um, this will be for sale if somebody wants a cool little frag tank and then do a much larger custom one from here to over here, which is will be about five feet across and then do a, a new custom stand so that we don't lose any shelving um, underneath there. This is not being used very well right now. If you want to see if you're curious, it's like, yeah, basically uh, junk under there. So that'll come out. That'll be my next or one of my next projects. I have a list of ongoing things I want to change about the store. I don't know how I'm going to light it. I think I'm going to have to do sort of like a rail system with um, XR15s. It's kind of hard to shoot corals and make videos and capture the color accurately so that when people get them in the mail, you know, we hope that uh, most of the time when you get them, you're going to be like, wow, this is actually nicer in person. Sometimes it happens that it's nicer in the photo. If you ever have that experience, reach out to us. We understand that you know there's differences in the lighting what we use what you use differences in the way you perceive colors the cameras computer screens um whenever we do have an instance like that like someone says you know i bought this i bought this recordia i thought it was yellow it showed up green it's usually just um you know we'll send you another one a refund a coupon code we understand that's a little bit tricky buying you know livestock like this online so customers always right in in our opinion at least when it's coming to colors and stuff like that so that's going to be a fun new project what else can i show you Ooh, in the basement uh, we have a little bit of progress on the tanks that we have set up down there or that we're just getting set up update on Diggs. he's still old he still smells bad and he's still lazy what's up puppy but actually good update he might be a father in the near future one of our customers absolutely fell in love with this breed of uh, american bulldog and ended up getting a female and she is just gorgeous so Diggs, you're gonna be a daddy before your dad oh, i guess i'm your daddy but you're gonna be a, you're gonna be a real daddy before i am so that would be really cool i apologize no i don't apologize our videos are a little bit unorganized that's how we do it here they're unscripted walk around the store talk to you guys about what's going on and i think you guys like it because you know what it's pretty cool we're up to uh, like uh 10 000 subscribers right now so obviously we're doing something right i guess um so this is our new kind of uh, have you seen the other series that I'm doing that we're setting up this new frag tank? Finally got the overflow in. So that's done. Really, really simple. Two drains. I'll talk about it more when I do um, uh, the next update on this one. I got this drain installed here. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It just goes over and then drops down into our little filter floss section. So I'm really excited. This is just about, about yeah, basically right there, about to get set up and uh, get going. It really just needs salt water at this point. This overflow done as well really simple and the way we do it is just this black glass over here and then oh, we take that off and then this um, uh, acrylic that's cut with some teeth so that water can easily pass over I just got to cut out the holes on the bottom of the plywood 
our FCC, what we call our frag box cultured coral farm. Uh, water's still a little murky. The glass has got to get cleaned. The skimmer is pulling out some crazy, crazy black gunk junk. I think that's from the heavy metal from the, um, if you saw what was going on in the other episodes, the heater that exploded, released some heavy metal into the water. I have sent off a ICP analysis. If you don't know what that is, it's just a crazy water sample analysis, 40 point, you know, elements tested, stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to test. I'm curious to see what if, no, I think there is, not if, but which heavy metals are present in the water. So we should have that back tomorrow. And then I can maybe do sort of an update video. As you see, we have added back some torches. I added a few just to see. I'm a little bit impatient. I want to get it up and running again and get it back to its glory. Um, we did have a Monty bleach. Maybe I'll do a whole nother video talking about the water and the heater and all that stuff as we get it going, as I get the results back. It's really nice though, because a lot of people have brought back in um, pieces of Zoas and stuff to just kind of contribute to the cause. Someone on the weekend brought these back free of charge. It's amazing. I didn't expect that. I'm not expecting um, anything from any, anyone. I was hoping, you know, I'll buy it back. I, you don't have to give it to us, but I really appreciate that. Um, we have someone else coming this afternoon. He grows Zoas here locally. And he said, listen, I bought them all from you. I'm going to just bring you um, one head of every single Zoa in my collection to get you guys back up and running. And that, that's really nice and, and really appreciated. So I got to do the next video after I turn off the camera on this one, what's in the beds. Cause there's just, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of corals and that's going to be uh, a video on its own. So I think we'll wrap up this vlog one. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. You know, we try our best to do a video every day. We do get busy here in the store sometimes. Try to have a life outside of the store, even though this realistically is our life. But uh, yeah, if you like this episode, give us a thumbs up. You know where how to subscribe and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fragbox TV.